Is it possible to conduct meaningful research without crossing ethical boundaries? This question might seem straightforward, but the answer is far from simple. Throughout history, a multitude of research studies have been tainted by ethical debacles, underscoring the crucial importance of ethics in research. Consider the infamous Tuskegee syphilis study conducted by the U.S. Public Health Service between 1932 and 1972. Despite the availability of effective treatment, hundreds of African-American men were left untreated to study the natural progression of the disease. This flagrant violation of ethical standards led to significant suffering and death, and a major loss of trust in health institutions among African-American communities. Or take the case of the Stanford Prison Experiment in 1971. This psychological study involved students role-playing as guards and prisoners in a mock prison. The experiment quickly spiraled out of control, with guards becoming abusive and prisoners experiencing severe emotional distress. The researchers were accused of stepping beyond ethical boundaries by allowing the experiment to continue despite the apparent harm being caused to the participants. These two examples starkly illustrate the potential harm that can occur when ethical boundaries are crossed in research. They highlight the necessity of ethical guidelines such as the protection of human participants, ensuring research serves the interests of society, and the thorough examination of research projects for their ethical standards. Research ethics provide a framework for researchers to conduct their work responsibly. These guidelines are not mere formalities but are crucial to maintaining trust in research, protecting participants from harm, and ensuring that the knowledge generated serves to benefit rather than harm society. In conclusion, research ethics play a vital role in the creation of knowledge. They safeguard participants, ensure research benefits society, and maintain the integrity and trustworthiness of the research process. The Tuskegee Syphilis Study and the Stanford Prison Experiment serve as potent reminders of the potential harm that can occur when ethical guidelines are not adhered to. As we move forward in our quest for knowledge, we must always remember the importance of conducting research ethically. It's not just about what we discover, but also about how we discover it. The journey to knowledge should never come at the expense of our shared ethical standards.